Hi everyone, welcome back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris Batter, another rumour has it video where we look at players linked to the club in the upcoming transfer window and possibly transfer windows beyond. We're going to have a look at a defender here, which is possibly one for the future as the, the search for Kieran Trippier's long-term successor rages on in amongst the corridors of Newcastle United's new scouting network. So we're going to have a look at a, a player here in a second just before we do a little bit of housekeeping. If you haven't already, clicked that subscribe button. We'd love you to come and join us. We're on just under 2,270 subscribers, so you can help get us to 2,300. If you smash that button, you won't regret it. Loads of crack and ever more. All free, two live shows and popular videos just like this, letting you know about targets and how they potentially could fit into the Newcastle United squad. So let's have a look at this player. Who are we talking about? We're talking about a young right back, which is this lad. Leeds fans will be familiar of him. His name is Cody Drama. So he is a, a young right back. He's played for England right up until under 21 level. Um, very promising young player. Not really working for him at Leeds at the minute. So the story goes, uh, this is from Fabrizio Romano of all people. Um, on his Here We Go podcast, he was saying that Newcastle United remained interested in Cody Drama, not just us, apparently Bournemouth are also tracking him and even Borussia Dortmund are tracking this young lad as well. And Bayer Leverkusen have been um, credited with having a bit of an interest in him too. So why are they so interested in Cody Drama? Um, young lad, very promising, loads of pace, pace to burn. He, he went on loan to Cardiff, as you can see there, Cardiff City had a really good spell at Cardiff City. Um, very, very good at getting up and down that right-hand side. Brilliant tackler as well. Times his tackles really, really well, as you can see from the statistics there. Mark's got him in the 99th percentile for right backs right across the top. That's the top five European leagues or the or the leagues, um, the championship level leagues, I suppose. He's probably done these stats on per 90 minutes. Um, he, he's a very, very talented defender. There's no doubt about that. But he also has that pace, can get up and down the line. Um, his blocks are strong as well. So from a defensive aspect, he's very, very good. Pass completion, that's where he needs a little bit of work. His pass completion is only down at 11%. So as a lot of young players can be a little bit rash with the passing, some of his passing may be a little bit wayward. But crossing, he's got potential with crosses there. He's up in the 63 percentile. He's not quite Kieran Trippier level yet, but he's not going to be, is he? So, I mean, what we're looking for really in terms of a player is, is an heir to Trippier's throne, really. Somebody who can come in, somebody who doesn't expect to play every week, somebody who can perform a lot better in cup games than some of the backup reserves that we have now. Um, you know, Kraft isn't getting any younger. Mankio did quite well the other day, but Mankio ain't getting any younger either. And I think he's probably wanting to head back to La Liga. So we really need some cover, some backup for Trippier. If he gets injured, if he gets suspended, there's nobody to step in, really, which is why Trippier's having to play league and cup games. I'm sure Trippier loves that, but at his age... You really want to hold him back a little bit. You want a young lad to step in and, and do that job in those cup competitions. Cody Drama could be that that player. Uh, and I think under Eddie Howe's management and Eddie Howe's coaching, I think you could work on these areas that are read on the statistics, you know, the progressive passing, key passing, the pass completions to get the crosses up. You know, train with Kieran Trippier every day, watching what he does, I think would really benefit this lad. So I think he's, he's valued at about three million quid at the minute. And the fact that the German teams are sniffing around him tells you there's potential there. You know, we've seen them take Sancho from Man City. We've seen them take Bellingham from Birmingham before. These, these scouting guys are no mugs over there. They spot a good player. They will take that player in and see potential and maybe make him into a superstar. Let's hope Newcastle United can beat them to a player like that because it's quite promising to do. You can see from the assists there, his assists are really, really good as well. Um, so he does have mass potential to come in and do a job at right back, obviously, we have had a few other players linked as well. We've got Harris Nashby at West Ham, and that one's going to go to a tribunal. And there was the uh, the young lad from Leon as well, who's been linked to us, as well as uh, Fiz, Fiz Nenda, which sounds like it might be nearly completed um, in La Liga. Now, drama might be off the table if if Fiz Nenda does come off. Um, but, you know, at the minute, he is still a player link, so we are going to bring you this video, and we are going to tell you how he compares. You can see how he stacks up next to Trips there in the background. He does... He does um, Beat trips in a couple of couple of areas there, but you know, clear and trip is clearly miles ahead of him other way. But he's more experienced; he knows how to work that line better than most people do. Clear and trip so we're not expecting this lad to be any better than him. But uh, but yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Whether you think the Cody drama could be a good addition to the squad, we definitely need to think about the future for right back. We're enjoying trip as he is now, but he's maybe got about two years max left in him at the top level, and if the team continues to progress and it gets Champions League football and everything else, we want to try and win Cups as well, we're going to have to have some backup coming up. But let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you as always. And I mentioned at the start, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, come and join us. And if you can, 
massively like this video. Really appreciate that. It helps get all around YouTube, helps people see it, helps get more people to the channel, and then they can smash that button too as well. But this is Chris signing off. We'll be back with some more rumor banter soon, and we'll catch you later. Cheers.